welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a recreation of a Kylie Jenner look that one of my subscribers actually personally inboxed me to like you know do so I'm going to try it out hopefully it won't be too difficult because honestly I'm like eyeshadow is the easiest thing to do so just like comment subscribe and just tune in to the full look all right so now i'm just going in concealing my brows with the juvia's place concealer in shade 11. so i'm just filling well i filled them in already i'm just gonna conceal them so basically i can just prep my eyes from my eyeshadow because it's basically like a lot of bright colors so we gotta have a good light base i'll probably go in with some white but for now we're just doing like a really light concealer all right now i just concealed my brows and now i'm just gonna go in with some like white well not really like white concealer it's like a really well it's a lighter concealer but it's not completely like, ugh, completely white so like i said i'm gonna just kind of put that in right here just kind of brighten up my lid so the eyeshadow I put on could just be more vibrant if that makes any sense. Now I'm going in with like a dark green in my crease and one of the shades I'm using is from the old Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm just putting that in my crease right now and then more and more will just build up to just get that perfect color payoff basically all right here in the crease okay now i'm kind of going with like a taupe color shadow for like more of the top just to blend out everything Let's see now this one it takes time to blend like it probably took me an hour to blend it's ridiculous but i really i'm very OCD when it comes to doing eyeshadow because I want it to look perfect. Well, as perfect I'm as I'm going with like a little tan color and going right back, like not the crease, but close to the brow bone and blend it out basically some more. Because I want it to look very seamless. Okay, after centuries of blending and it's, I feel like it's still not 100% but honestly it's probably never gonna be 100% so we're gonna just move on to the next step and right now I'm about to just cut my crease with some more white concealer that I went in before to prime my eyes and we're gonna just cut the crease like this Very tedious. I have to stay quiet for that. Now I'm gonna go in with like a green shimmer on my lid. Hopefully, this goes all right because this is an old palette I'm using. Yeah, I don't use old makeup. Yeah, I'm an esthetician. I know, of course, it's fire stuff you know supposed to be using on your face, but. I'm taking this off right after anyway. I'm not going out with it. But anyways, green shimmer on the lid. Ooh, okay. She's looking okay. I just hope she won't make my eye itch, but it's fine though. It's fine. She's coming right off though. Oh, I like it. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so we're back. We put the lid color on. See what I mean by two different things going on anyway. But we're going to just blend this side and also this side to kind of get everything looking seamless. It basically, I guess you could call it a half cut crease because I really don't do too many, too many full cut creases because they just look weird on my eye shape. But... But this is really how the look is. It's just like I have cut crease anyway. So that's the how it's supposed to look. I'm just going to blend the ends out. I have to go off camera and do my wing liner because I hate doing wing liner. Just because I just hate it. But right now we're going to just do the pink under the eyes. And just kind of build it up. 
I probably should have put a primer under here. Just kind of build that color up. Okay, now the well the eyeshadow is at the bottom. I'm gonna just prep my lashes for the fake lashes to make them look blended in. And so they can look real, real nice. All right, now I'm gonna put on some little baby blinks because she didn't have really so big lashes though because you know. It would take away from the look, basically. So I'm putting these on the baby latches on with this. Come on, stick. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame, Lord. Or the lips. She had a pink lip, but... I'm not doing no straight pink lips. So we're gonna do some brown liner first and we're gonna go in with some pink. Because, mm -mm, yeah, it's, it's not gonna look great. Just with straight pink, I can't do that. So we're gonna just do some brown liner. It looks okay. And like I said, I don't have pink lipstick really so this is what i'm gonna do i get the right thing this is what i'm gonna do i'm going to use this liquid lipstick as a base Kind of blend it out and then put some pink kind of in the middle. I don't want like very pink lips, but I want it to look more. going with some clear gloss I mean it was clear but yeah I use a lot of brown liner so that's why it's like brown I'm going with some clear gloss <laughs> the lip is not even pink no more but guess what look, we tried all right this is the end results of the recreation of the Kylie Jenner look that one subscriber actually requested for me to do. So this is for you. And if any of y'all want to see more recreations of anything, just let me know in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe. Bye y'all. Love y'all.